thank you. Yeah, the first. <laughs> well, thank you, and, and thank you, Elise, for putting this together. A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand overdose deaths last year. Setting a record. Many of those overdose deaths were due to fentanyl. You know, we have moments of silence to honor those who have passed. Yet when it comes to the fentanyl that's coming across our border, then we are silent and we don't do anything. Or at least the Democrats don't do anything. And, and you've heard all the figures here of how it is infesting our communities. 100,000 deaths, over 11,000 Pounds of fentanyl seized at the border. That, that was what was seized. We don't know how much came across. The leading cause of death for those between 18 and 25. And, and folks, look, I practiced pharmacy for over 35 years. I, I was a retail pharmacist, your, your local neighborhood drugstore. Not a day went by when I didn't have a parent come in and bring a pill and say, can you identify this for me? I found it. In my child's room, they got it at school. I need to know what it is. Two out of every five counterfeit pills now are laced with fentanyl. Now, when these people came in, when these parents came in to my pharmacy, I took it very seriously. I tried to console them. But I have to be quite honest with you. That changed. It changed after I went to the first funeral. After I went to the funeral, of a young man who took a pill that someone gave him at school and overdosed. Folks, this is serious. We have got to control our borders. And, and, and you know, it frustrates me to no end when people think that, number one, this is just the problem at the border. It's just a problem with illegal immigration. No, it's a problem with illegal drugs. It's a problem with fentanyl. Fentanyl's highly addictive it's it, it's highly it, it's one of the strongest drugs out there just a, mi a minuscule amount of it can kill you it's so much so until we have to tell our first responders to use gloves you don't even want it to be absorbed into your skin that's how potent it is and yet this administration continues to ignore the fact that drugs are flowing across that border, illegal drugs. And don't think for one moment, oh, that's a problem in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, California. It doesn't impact me. These drugs are infesting every community in our country. Every community in our country. We're losing this battle, and we can win this battle. We can stop this. But we've got to control the border. This administration has got to understand that the health and safety of our children, of our country, is at stake here. This does not discriminate. When those parents came into my pharmacy, they were Democrats, they were Republicans, they were independents. It didn't matter. They were Americans. And they were being impacted by this. Please, Mr. President, please, Speaker Pelosi, do something about this. You have the ability to stop this. Let's stop it for the sake of our country, for the sake of our children. Thank you, and I'll yield back.